Do that. No. Oh, it's one of these mods. These are my favorite sorts of mods. Yeah, naturally, given your heritage. Especially if they're done well. I feel guilty if I fucking like, spend an hour longer than I should on something. When I was a kid, I used to spend solid days doing stupid shit. Exactly, like... I'm not even gonna go into the sorts of random shit I used to do as a kid, like, stuff that I could just entertain good, myself good, with for hours. Good, get age gated if you fucking went to that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, it's not gonna happen, don't worry. I know what you're into. Fucking start the timer, I forgot, shit! There you go. What am I doing here? I haven't- I wasn't paying attention to my moves at all. I don't know, but these guys don't seem very... ...coordinated. They're flat feet! Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is that what we're playing Chivalry? Day? Look at this. Oh, this is that new Chivalry expansion, dude. I didn't want to, I didn't want to like, tell you and ruin it, but... This is the new Chivalry expansion. It's a beta cool. for it. I think they've improved, greatly. Unknown oh, material wood. Oh! Our our sword and shields hurt each other? Hurt like, what? Well, what did you expect? Well, I didn't think that by hitting you in the shield, I would hurt you. I didn't think the shield was, like, part oh. of your body. No, that's... No, I think you got past my shield and, like, cut my hand behind it. I bet, like, your shield's all red. Look at that. My sword's red. It's like... It's like... Yeah, but you haven't taken any damage. I think imagine that, like, you hit something with your sword and then you feel sore. Or, like, <gasps> you... Fuck, a link man. Yeah, you feel with your sword, imagine that. Every stab would be like intercourse. Oh! That was, that a, was good, a pretty good stab. That was pretty good. Under the defense, but I lost my arm, so I can't stab you anymore. I got to keep the arm that does the stabbing, at least. I got to keep my defensive hand, but I lost my fucking hand. No, I lost the... Kept the hand, lost the hand, kept the arm. There we go. I'm doing the splits pretty hard right now. I gotta catch that. I'm gonna try to stab at you from Hell's Heart. Oh! Oh! Is that close enough? I think that might be close enough. Dodge! Oh, man, you've been playing some fucking uh, Dark Souls there. That was a pretty good dodge. Good thing you're light. I actually rolling. haven't. I haven't been playing that game. Yeah, you're not supposed to be. I'm not. Because we have to fucking uh, have to do a s. There, do the right? thing. Do the thing. Yeah. You don't have to say the words. Do the thing. I'll just censor that out. It's okay. I got that in post. Literally, do. Do the beep. Okay. <laughs> Woo. Only that one word. Though. Only that one specific word. You gotta do the beep. You gotta yeah. do that beep. The Dark Souls. To give myself more work, we're doing. That's gonna be if fun to edit. If you don't bleep that out, I'll disown you. <laughs> I will, it's gonna be really fun to edit after this. I already hate editing this stuff as is. Putting all the fucking music in and everything. So that's gonna be really, really fun. Cause I have to remember exactly where it was. God. <laughs> uh, you're gonna block me with your shield. I need to make use of my shield, I never do that. Yeah, you do. I don't ever make use of like my shield and. <laughs> God, that doesn't. That should not hurt me, man. Like I, I cut your shield off by hitting it. <laughs> it's a fucking great shield, man. Maybe you shouldn't use the shield. It's a new mechanic, by the way. That's a that's a Dark Souls 2 mechanic, actually. If you block, your arm comes off. Really? Yeah. I don't believe you. I'm gonna kick your sword. How you how do you feel about that? How do you feel about that? Don't. I don't feel about that. Oh yeah, I skip. Oh. <laughs> That's not a great position to be in, dude. Well, I don't know why I'm fucking fighting like I do. Like I'm doing like some insane, half dead, drunken style fighting techniques here. I'm doing some insane clown posse shit. I'm doing some we are juggalos shit. Ah, oh, strong blows. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if everyone knows about that one yet. Maybe. We've mentioned it a couple times. Not nearly as much as the pizza stuff, though. 
up now. This episode of Toy Bash brought to you by The Walking Dead on AMC. Lori. Yeah, L Lori and and uh, Rick and and Shane return to season five. And Judith. The Walking and Judith return to season five of The Walking Dead, and and Daryl he does stuff and everyone only watches for him. Uh, the Walking Dead season five AMC. In cinemas now. Yeah, in cinemas. Have you gotten to watching the new season at all yet? What season four? Yeah, whatever season it's on. Is that the one that came out like in December and November? It's the one after the one that I last watched, so I don't really know. I don't remember what happened the last time I watched. No, I've seen like the first few minutes of the first episode, but I gave up. I was just waiting for fucking Game of Thrones to start up again. God damn it. Yeah, I actually found out that uh, there are far more people in college that actually watch good TV shows than there used to be. In school, anyway. I don't know if those people just grew up and started watching good TV, but it's kind of cool. Yeah, I feel like in the oldest I would have said that you're kind of cool, but I have changed my opinion on that. So. Of course. Well, my my shield caught me, so I'm good. good. I'm good. I'm, I'm, I got that going for me. I can't watch TV with Nicola. It doesn't, make, ah! it just doesn't work. You want to bring her into this? Huh? No, I just can't watch. I can't watch. You realize that every time the word is said, you need to bleep it out, just so you know. Wait, what? The word. That, like just word. In that gets bleeped out every time? <laughs> yeah, that Even word is uh, censored. God damn it, that's going to be so much work for me. Anyway. The only reason why I can't watch things with her is because she doesn't. The only thing she remembers after watching TV with me is the sex scenes for some reason. <laughs> like, we watched an entire season of Breaking Bad. All she can remember from her own account is that at one point, the husband and wife have sex. Spoilers! And. There's a really, really disgusting stain on his pillow afterwards, and he's really sweaty. And yeah, that took my shield off. Like what? Yeah, I don't know. That shield doesn't work as a shield, apparently. It's good. Oh, and uh, at another part, uh, the husband and wife have sex, and she's got like a, a face mask thing on, and she leaves a stain on the fridge. So That's they're having sex against the fridge. Yeah. He likes. He gets. He gets really aggressive and like forces her up against the fridge, and then he fucks her little brains out. Except she doesn't want to be fucked, so she pushes him off of her. And then it's like kind of rapey. And then the son comes home and sees a face stain on the fridge. Um. I feel like this Got has gone. Experience that sort of thing. I feel like this has gone in the exact wrong direction for a game that's as family friendly as Chivalry is. Like, I think most of our viewers, like, we're in a fairly young age demographic to begin with. And I feel like most of our viewers are even younger than that. And we're talking about shit like this right now. Which I feel what? is proper alienating to them. Face paint? And, yes, that was the most offensive part of what you said. I didn't realize any of what I said was offensive, but if you say so. Alright, what, well, well, We should be talking about Barney. I oh, he loves me. I love you love me. Not that oh. Barney. That's fucking You're assuming that just because they're kids they're into that Barney? Everyone send your hate mail to the smiley man guy at gmail.com. What's wrong with that Barney? They probably don't even know who that Barney is and they're not old enough to remember that Barney. Kids here, man. Come on. Dude, no. No, 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 no. I was assuming they were older than kids because no little kids today would watch Barney. So, by singing that song, I'm I'm, I'm assuming that they're old enough to remember Barney, and I'm trying to bring back nostalgic memories for them. Bull. Like, you remember there was that yellow dinosaur? <laughs> uh, I didn't watch Barney. Yeah, you had no childhood. Although, to be fair, Barney used to terrify me, so... Also, matter. Barney was just absolute shit. No. 
Like, I don't remember what I used to watch when I was a kid. I think I just... I honestly don't remember what I used to watch. You probably didn't watch anything. No, I watched just Pokemon like... a lot. I think that was what I watched. Huh. Yeah, I, I think I watched, have, like, uh... The Land Before Time. No, I watched that. That was good. That was about it, so very... That is not a very accurate title, though, is it? Because there is no such thing as a Land Before Time. Actually, any era, any era that's uh, before recorded history is prehistoric and therefore before time in the strict sense, in the strict sense of it. Uh, not before time, before history. Time isn't, like, a thing that ever ends or begins, it's just an yes, ongoing thing. Yes, but time is also subjective, and if there's no one there to be subject to it, then it doesn't exist. But there are creatures that are subject to it. Yeah, but they don't realize that they, they don't realize time they're not sentient. They can't, they can't. How do you know? You weren't around when dinosaurs existed. You, how do you know they weren't sentient? How do you know they didn't talk to one another? They probably would have kept records. No, because they weren't smart enough to do that. Well, Even humans didn't start keeping records until about... The 15th, the 16th, well not the 16th century, but you know what I mean, like when, when writing and language became a thing and monks started writing stuff down, like there isn't much in the way of records for like the ancient Egyptians or the Romans or the Greeks. Aside from all the, like statues. all the hieroglyphics, they have fucking words scribed into them. And they talked about libraries they like have, Alexandria that got burned down. It, they don't have uh It's not like there were any records, there were them. records, but they just got destroyed over time. Exactly. How do you know that the dinosaurs' records didn't get destroyed over time? Because that's even further back. That's they like, don't have thumbs. They can't really, take records, man. How do you know? It's being you offensive. I see you dinosaur you skeletons. How do you know that the scientists aren't wrong? Scientists have been wrong. If you assume that everything you hear about so science right now is 100% correct, that, I'm not saying it's a conspiracy. No, I'm the, the saying scientists are hiding the thumbs of dinosaurs. Is that what you're saying now? Some. Dinosaurs, such as Velociraptors, could be capable of writing. You don't know. They have claws. They have, like, the append- the, uh, opposable claw, you know? And they have brains the size of birds. Yeah, brain size is indicative of- of- of intelligence. Yeah, that's a pretty good indicator of it. <sighs> Besides, there are no surviving dinosaur brains, so again, you can't say that. Well, you can base it off their skull cavity, like, the fucking Stegosaurus had the brain the size of a peanut. That's bullshit. Its brain cavity is the size of a peanut, so that's how big its brain was. I don't believe for, for a second that something as big as a Stegosaurus has a completely dense skull. Its head's not that big, its body's huge. Yeah, but a peanut's fucking tiny. I don't think anyone's torn anyone apart here, but that's the uh, that's gonna be the uh, the second to last round. We've got one more round after this. I'm gonna have fun editing this part. Yep. In fact, I don't think something that would fit in a hole the size of a peanut would even classify as a brain. It would be more like a bogey. <laughs> that's pretty offensive to people who have bogey-sized brains. Or brain-sized bogeys. Could you imagine picking that thing out of your nose? Ew. Something the size of your brain, and it just all comes out in one massive thing that's connected. Not obviously in one big piece, like not an actual object the size and shape of a brain, but just like, it's all attached and its total mass, like, equates to that of a brain. Uh, I don't pick my nose for that reason. Are you worried you're gonna pick your brain one day and then, like, be dumb? Now, I'm worried that, like, if I pick my nose, something really gross is gonna come out or something. I don't know. <laughs> you pick your nose and you find, like, a family of dead rats or something? And, like, I just... Just hiding in your skull? I'm the squeamish type when it comes to things like that. A bit of a germaphobe, you know? Yeah. Wash my hands 42 times a day, you know, that kind of thing. What would you do if you picked your nose and you found... Like, the remains of a fetus up there. I'd be very, very concerned and disappointed. <laughs> I just had a really weird thought. Alright, alright, alright. How would you feel if one day you woke up Wait, did you even and... hit the leg that came off? It was like you hit the other one. No, I think I hit that one as I was going past. I missed the other one. Anyway, how would you feel if one day, for no reason whatsoever, just bad luck, or God's will, or whatever. Uh, whenever a baby was aborted, its remains came out of your nose. Anywhere in the world, it would just come out of your nose. That's like a- it's like a portal. 
it would go from the woman's vagina into your nose and come out. I could make a lot of money off of that. You think so? Yeah, stem cell research, dude. That's a good idea. No, wait, you can't... Oh, no, wait, you can, can't you? you yeah, can... it's not illegal everywhere. No, I wasn't saying it's illegal, but I wasn't sure for a sec if you could, like, actually use the stem cells from a destroyed fetus. Well, but it makes sense. As opposed to what? As opposed to a living baby? No, as opposed to a developing fetus that you would remove. I'm sorry, what? Well, like, there are two different images of abortion I just had in my head. One where, like, you know, you go It's illegal some past start. a certain point. So, like, after the baby develops to a certain point, it can't be aborted. Yeah, I know, but I was thinking, for some reason, my brain didn't really connect the dots, and I was thinking that you could salvage the stem cells from the bits and pieces of, like, a baby you'd vacuum out. So you like imagine yeah, only because, like, a fucking like stillborn no, only child, because, not a only because. No, I'm not picturing a stillborn child, but I do philosophy in college. We did like a whole thing on abortion and you know the ethics of it and all that. And I had to watch a documentary which focused on pro and anti-abortion arguments. And most of the anti-abortion arguments came from really extreme Christian groups, but. You know what that I just realized, like, though? Hold on. What do you Why just do we realize? talk about stuff like this, like, exclusively in Tory Bash? Because Tory Bash is, like, the food for conversation. <laughs> you know, people come here to watch us play random stupid mods and talk about the most disturbing or disgusting yeah, shit Yeah, instead we they get to witness the most vile, like, disturbing thoughts that, you know. Fun. But anyway, so... Yeah. <laughs> oh god, what?! <laughs> Uh, oh shit, oh my god, 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 oh my god,